Folks, Alex Jones here. I was driving to work and saw the drone. Hey, how's it going? Driving to work here. Saw this flying over the road. I had Joe Ferrer ask me if I'd ever seen one run by government, and I hadn't. But there it is. I'm shooting this with my iPhone out here. Wow, what's that? I'm uh, doing some right away shots for the highway department. Oh, highway department. Proliferation of drones, huh? Yeah, have you seen our video, Drones Shot Down Over Texas? Yeah. Pretty good, check it out. I know that uh, there was a situation over in Mississippi or Alabama where they, uh, some guys were overflying a pigeon shoot, like PETA people. Oh yeah, and it got shot down, yeah. yeah but, uh, no, no, that was great, that was the first one. Yeah. Drone shoot down, but we did one with our gun show just to simulate it. And what does something like that cost? Uh, I really couldn't tell you. I, I, for my company, I build all my own stuff. Uh, what about three, four thousand? No, you're closer to six to eight thousand, something like that. Yeah, because we looked into getting you know some of the little mini helicopters they've got, but th that they use for movie shoots, right. and a stripped down one was like ten grand right. to shoot up. In Austin, I know of about. Five guys that are, uh, uh, you know, full time in the business, and uh, but I mean, two of them uh, work primarily Hollywood, you know, do feature movies. And stuff. I notice your little guy has a red flashing light, so it's all FAA kosher. Well, uh, as long as it's below a certain ceiling, everything's. Yeah, there's. Really it's almost a, like hobbyist. Yeah, well, I'm not a hobbyist. No, no, but I mean, like hobbyists have similar, you know. Yeah, but I. Uh, I'm a fully insured company. I've no, I understand you're a, you're a professional. I mean, I just meant like, that's yeah, probably I mean, what. They're, they're hobbyists to do this, but you know, how many hobbyists are going to throw six to $8,000 at a... Exactly. I've never seen one in person this nice. Right. I'm actually on a contract today for a company. Uh, and, uh, we're shooting uh, low-level of release of the 290 right away. Uh, Actually, I'm covering all the way from Loop 1 all the way out both legs of the Y. And, uh, what is that, to look at the toll roads? or? Uh, they don't fill me in on what the project I get a big old map, and they uh, just tell me where they want photos taken. Wow. So uh, I'm actually shooting from this location right now. And this map's about 20 feet long. What do you think about in the news that Texas is weaponizing drones to have them flying around with shotguns and riot control? Uh, well, I, personally, I stay on top of it, and I am not aware that that's occurring at all. Check it out. It just started happening in the last month. Yeah. Uh, Did you hear about them using a predator drone against people that had a cattle dispute in North Dakota? Um, it doesn't surprise me that they may have gone over and taken pictures. Uh, do you think it's good to have the Department of Defense operating in domestically? Um, yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, uh, to me, it's no different than standing on the side of the road taking a picture. I'm just a little bit higher. Uh, but you know, these can shoot over fences, though, privacy fences. And well, but, I mean, every day Google is flying over those fences, and you can zoom in. Uh, I can look at the chairs in my, around my swimming pool. No, I know, but Google also got caught using those little cars to grab people's passcodes. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. You ought to get your card or something. I should send you the articles where even Texas sheriff's departments have already got them and are already weaponizing. Well, yeah, I'm really familiar with them. I mean, Montgomery County was the first adopter, and, uh, uh, you know, they, they wrecked it pretty quickly. They destroyed a half-million-dollar helicopter. So, you know. Hey, but it's just taxpayer money. Why not? Yeah, that's it. But, I mean, the FAA just basically gave all the police departments in February. I like your hard hat. Land of the free, home of the drone. 
But uh, it doesn't say that, does it? No. <laughs> no, no. But, uh, <laughs> it's red, white, and blue. Is the joke. But, Have you ever heard me talk about drones, or you even don't know who I am? Oh, I know who you. Are. Yeah. What do you think of drones, buddy? What do I think of drones? Yeah. But I don't think it's a great idea to uh, take people out without, you know, due process. Uh, there's probably a lot of good good usage for it. <clears throat> My problem is it takes humans out of the decision soon. They've already got autonomous drones the Air Force and Navy have developed. Have you heard about those? Yeah, but... Skynet? Let's make, yeah, let's make it ex extremely clear. This is not autonomous. Well, by my insurance, insurance, I fly a line of sight. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not yeah. saying you're the Department of Defense. I'm right. I'm asking you as a drone owner, operator, what you think of it. Well, I mean, once they get out of line of sight, uh, you know, if the uh, Defense Department has secured drones, maybe it's okay. I mean, there is a, another level of uh, issue once you take them out of line of sight. Uh, is that if they lose GPS link or something, sure. I can fly home. Uh, Why do you think drones are so hot right now? Well, I mean, uh, they're so much safer than putting a human in the air. If you go look at all the, you know, radio station and television station helicopters that go down annually and kill people and damage things on the ground, it's putting two men... No, I hear you, but aren't we kind of uh, cutting ourselves out of the submarines, the ships, the air drones? I mean, humans... I mean, the future won't need us. A lot of top top tech chiefs have said, with robotics and everything, we're not going to need we're not going to need seven billion people for the elite anymore. Oh, that's a good conspiracist uh, attitude to have. But uh, the reality of war of the world is, it's just another tool. It's like if I put it up on a post and held the camera up there. It's on but you know, I said ten years ago the TSA would start taking us to private rooms and groping us. It's happening. Uh, yeah, that, and, and I, I think that's silly. I don't feel any safer for that. So you can program this to kind of fly itself, but then you can just override it? Well, you know, uh, as you see it set up right now, it doesn't have uh, autonomous flight capabilities other than if it runs low on uh, battery, it will automatically return before it gets in trouble. Oh, so there's an override. Right, and that's it good. also has a, um, if the radio were for some reason to break, It'll automatically come home and land itself where it took off from. So, and this camera shoots video and uh, stills. Yes, this this is uh, probably the uh, high end of the, what people use for this business. Yeah, I've got two of those cameras. They're awesome. Yeah, Sony next five. They've got high def quality that just ten years ago that would have cost sixty grand. And uh, yeah, I mean I know that they're using it to defend the borders, and we have multiple predators along the U.S. border. A whole bunch of them, yeah. We had two, and I think they're pushing for five right now. Yeah, but I mean, but, uh, the Air Force, what, has over 15,000 of them, and they're using them all over the world. Yeah, but we were talking for the uh, sure. TSA. And, sure, sure. Uh, the Homeland Defense doesn't have a lot of them, uh, and they're, they're flying the U.S. border, but they're not looking over your back fence or anything. So, uh, well, actually, I mean, we got footage in Florida where they are. The, I mean, they say police on them. Yeah, uh, higher level. Fully autonomous drones where they can send them out to a spot and uh, you know that's a different thing where the guy isn't seeing it. He's got a, a Sure, pre-programmed. Or know, he's flying it by camera where he's looking into yeah. an image and flying it first person view. But uh, you know the guys that are flying low level under regulated airspace you know I'm flying 400 feet or less uh, regulated airspace uh, starts at around 500. Sure, listen, yeah. you're out here getting shots from the highway department. That's right. that's understandable. That's right. a great profession, really neat. I'm glad we ran into each other. I'm talking about police departments are saying, we're getting them and we're, we want to weaponize them. Well, see, I actually know uh, guys in the police department. And what they would like to do is, yeah, before they serve a warrant, is fly around the house and look at exits and stuff like that. Uh, you know, things like... Uh, Couldn't Google Earth do that? Well, yeah, if you could get them to fly no, over no, this well, afternoon. Well, 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 that's the thing, though. Yeah. Google looks straight down. These can come in and look. Yeah, at obliques, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. I'm telling you, that's the big brother aspect. Look, right. look at all the surveillance. Look at the NSA admitting it's spying on the American people illegally. Look at all the loss of liberty, all the cameras. I remember talking to the highway department 15 years ago, and they said, we'll never use these for the police. And, of course, they were planning it the whole time. It's a night, but, I mean, who's watching the government? Yeah. Well... Uh, 
I hope there are concerned citizens watching the government. Uh...